Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to show you how to add a theme switcher with Svelte and Daisy UI. Let's begin by creating a folder. I'll name it Daisy Svelte since we are going to use Daisy UI and Svelte. I typically open the terminal from the project folder. On Mac OS, I press and hold the control key and click on the folder, then select open terminal. For Windows user, simply right click in any folder and choose open terminal or open command prompt. I have already collected all the required commands in my blog post. Let me copy the first command to create a Svelte project. Now let's move to the terminal, right click, paste the command and hit enter to execute it. We will proceed with the default project name, so just press enter. We don't need the demo app or the library project, so I'm gonna select the skeleton project and press enter. We don't want TypeScript, but we do need ESLint and Prettier. We also don't need to try out Svelte 5. Now press enter again. Our Svelte project is now installed. Now we just have to run NPMI. This may take some time depending on your internet connection. With the project installed, you can check by running one more command. Hit enter then press and hold the control key and click to open the live link. Next, we need to install Tailwind CSS. Let's visit my website. Copy the code and go back to the terminal. Since our project is live from this terminal window, we should open a new window. To do this, simply press new tab and then new tab with profiler. You will notice that both terminal windows have the same project directory. Right click and paste then hit enter. The installation is complete. Now we need to run npmi again to install the node modules. Finally run npm run dev. You will notice that the font size is updated because Tailwind is now working. The next step is to install Daisy UI. Run npm i Daisy UI. If you check the website now, you will see nothing has happened because we need to configure Daisy UI. Up to this point, we haven't written a single line of code. Open the tailwind.config.cjs file in your project folder. Add the following to the plugins array. Now, when you check the website, you will see some changes. The background has become dark because Daisy UI uses the system default theme. To control that, open app.html and add data theme is equal to light. Now you can see that the default theme has changed to light mode. Using the same method, you can change light to dark and you will successfully change the default theme to dark mode. So how can we let the user control the theme? If you visit the Daisy Web website, you will find a section called Theme Controller. You can simply copy the code and paste it into any Svelte file in VS Code. Now let's change the value. Since your default value is dark, let's change it to light. Save the file and go back to our live view and reload the page. You'll see the theme switcher is working. But how can we switch to some other themes of Daisy UI instead of just light or dark? 
for that, we need to write some more code. Let's visit the DAISY UI website. In the config section, you will find configuration code for controlling DAISY UI. Copy the code and go back to VS Code. Open the Tailwind config file again. Add a comma after the plugins array. Then paste the code we just copied. Now if you take a look here, the theme's value is false. If you read the comments carefully, you'll understand that setting the theme's value to false allows only the light and dark themes to work. To activate all the themes of DAISY UI, change the value to true. This will activate all the themes in our current project. Now let's check all the available themes of DAISY UI. For demonstration, we can change the theme to forest. Open VS Code and since we have configured DAISY UI to have all the themes, logically we can switch from dark theme to forest theme by changing the value to forest. Now go to your browser and you will see our theme switcher is working. So that's all for today and thank you.